Hi, I'm Adriana from Foam Blast again. Things are coming tomorrow. I'm excited, you're excited, it's gonna be good. Real quick, I'm gonna go over the specs again. It's 132 form factor, meaning you'll have to shell cut most blasters, but you can have a really low profile cover and look real slick. Uh, they're meant to run at 11.1 .1 volts, meaning 3S, 33,000 RPM, 26 amp stall current, and 808 gram four centimeters of stall torque. That's 15% higher than Hellcats. We ran all our Corona tests through Mr. Jank with fresh Elite Darts. Every combo got 36 shots, and we did our best to keep the lighting consistent so we got the most accurate and comparable readings. Our best result by far was the OFP High Crush Cage. That's the 41.5 millimeter and worker wheels. The average for that one was 163 FPS. The High Crush really grabs the dart, and these motors have the torque to really pull them through. If you just want to show off and have the hardest hit, this is the setup you want. For war practicality, high crush is probably not the best way to go. You're going to want consistency as well as performance. If you accidentally pick up a hard tip dart and try to put it through a high crush cage, you will jam, and nobody wants that in the heat of battle. So we recommend the Open Flywheel Project 43mm cage with worker wheels if you don't care about dart wear and artifact wheels if you do. That's going to get an average of 140 to 148, which is still very respectable. And remember that the awesome torque of our motors isn't just for pushing through high crush, it's also for great spin-up time. We measured it the best we could through audio and found it's about one-tenth of a second with artifact wheels. You'll notice that we're really pushing the open flywheel project cages, and the unfortunate thing about that is they're printed cages, and most people only print in PLA. The issue here is that PLA can warp if it gets too hot. That happens around 60 or 65 degrees Celsius. We weren't able to get a cage to warp in any of our tests, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. We ran a motor with a starting temperature of 28 degrees Celsius for an hour, and it only reached 58 degrees Celsius. That's really skirting the edge, but inside a blaster, the flywheel's be moving around air more and possibly cooling it more efficiently. Uh, we believe PLA should be fine for most people, but if you live in a hot climate, it's better to be safe than sorry and get a cage made with PETG or ABS plastic. You can get those made from 3D hubs or shapeways. If I can find a reputable vendor in the community with permission from Open Flyable Project to sell them, I'll link that in the description. We have a master spreadsheet for all the Fang Motor Chrono tests, with links to the video for each individual test. All that's in the description. Bye! Fangs tomorrow when they're on sale. That works. We'll go with that. I was laughing. That's a wrap. Good. <laughs> Thanks. Coming soon. <laughs> I wish I could put them in my mouth like a walrus, but oh. there's lots of oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's gonna stay. They're her favorite motors. Are you ready?